Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Today we are talking about a term as it relates to travel and wonders of the world and places that we've talked about. The term catacombs keeps coming up. So I thought it might be useful for us to really quickly look at what are catacombs by definition and how do we see them in some of these locations that we might want to be visiting. Let's start at the definition. A catacomb is a man-made underground passageway, typically built for religious practice. The first usage of the term came from Rome, where an underground tomb was built, said to hold the bodies of apostles Peter and Paul. It's unclear where the actual term catacomb came from, though some linguists trace it back to the Latin phrase catatumbus, meaning among the tombs. It was illegal to bury bodies in the city of Rome at the time, so these first tombs were all located outside the city walls. Now, while originally the term was closely tied to Rome, other underground tombs popped up and they all took on the name of catacombs. While mostly serving as tombs, these passages were also decorated and ornamental, full of Bible verses and imagery. Each tomb also likely had decorative nameplates to denote whose body was buried inside, like a variation on a tombstone. The most famous catacombs today are the Catacombs of Paris. In a nutshell, Paris in the 12th century had a major problem, with small cemeteries that were overflowing with the dead. They decided to clear out all these cemeteries inside the city of Paris and build a massive underground structure outside the city, just like Rome decreed. Since there were so many bodies moved and placed into this structure, it was essentially a disorganized museum of bones eventually formed into decorations and allowing visitors to walk the catacombs. It is approximated that over 6 million people are kept inside these tombs now, their bones creating the decorations of this place. Since it runs under the city of Paris now, there have been several cave-ins from heavy buildings above, so taller buildings are now made sure to be built not directly over this weak foundation. There are other catacombs across the world, typically tied to religious orders and churches. Many of them are available to go inside as a visitor, including the catacombs in Paris and Rome that we already discussed. Would you visit a place like this? Have you already? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.